Hey, you guys. <coughs> Excuse me. You know me. I got something to talk about. I always got something to talk about. I can't help it. Wesley Henderson, game session. You're right. You know why? Because that's what I kick all the time. That's what I kick, real game. Now, you guys might see me smoking weed, smoking my cigar. You probably remember that I used to drink all the time. I still drink, but I used to drink all the time. I still drink, but I don't drink like I used to because I'm focused. I'm very focused now. And if you can't focus, you're not going to go very far. And sometimes I talk about focus. Sometimes I talk about preparation. But today, I want to talk about being active. Proactive, excuse me. Proactive. I'm sure you mean, I mean, excuse me, you understand that it means doing something or taking preventative measures, uh, doing something before it's necessary to be done. Reactive is doing something after it's necessary to be done. And I, sure, I'm sure you know, but I believe in being proactive. I believe in imagining all sorts of things so that I can act on them now while I'm imagining them. Now, this could sound paranoid to some of you guys. It can sound very paranoid. Well, since most of the topics that I talk about are really just about my life, it, it, it's sort of easy for me. But what I try to do is use the, my experiences to make a, a, an example for you so that you can see. I mean, of course, I brag. Yeah, but I'm not really bragging. I'm trying to put emphasis on the fact that you're going to get old. If you don't die, you're going to get old. And you got to understand, when you get old, your life is either going to be yours or it's going to be the state's. You know, old people have it hard. They have to cut everything. Everything. I'm not going to cut what I want. I'm going to be old, motherfucker, and I'm going to be getting what I want until I die. You know why? Because hopefully God let my mind stay furrowed. I think. I'm not afraid to think. See, mostly I get the topics that I talk about from listening to the nonsense or, or reading the, the, the craziness that you guys pass off as ism. <laughs> no matter how many times I tell myself that I'm doing good, that I'm helping, no matter how many times I tell myself, which I can see I am, I am helping. There's always one of you guys who want to say some ignorant shit and you want to put it on Facebook or you want to uh, instant message me or you want to put it on my page and I guess go at it. See, if I'm talking about women, see, this is the kind of dude I am. If I'm talking about women and I'm talking to six dudes, let's say three of them think they pimps and three of them is just regular dudes. I know this. Ultimately, I know this. Ultimately, they're going to be two distinct understandings taken from my conversation. And from those two distinct understandings, there's going to be six versions. I know that. 
You know why I know that? Because those three guys that think they pin them, they going to hear it one way. The three squares going to hear it another way. And all three of them going to hear it different. So what's right? I mean, how, how do you how do you follow? That's it. You don't follow. You lead. You lead yourself until you have followers. Because there's going to be people insecure following every word you say once you show you're secure. But how do you show that you're secure? <laughs> See, when you know that you're talking to a bunch of people and they're going to take it a bunch of different ways. See, it's up to you to understand what's in, let's say, the square's head and what's in the motherfucking pimp's head, if that's the case. You got to understand that. You got to understand what they heard. Two, six different ways, six different versions of two understandings. Who gives a fuck which one of them's right? If the square, three different ways can work for them, and the pimps, three different ways can work for them. Who cares what's right? See, my point is when I speak, I know there's a mixture of people, characters, different motherfuckers in my audience. And I know I'm going to get several interpretations from what I said. But if you're a pimp, and, and, and let's say you're a serious pimp, don't question me on what I'm saying. <laughs> because nine out of ten times, you're going to hear what I'm saying in the scariest fashion possible. You're not going to hear what I'm saying on a, a brave type Oh, game broadening spectrum. You're going to hear it on the limited, scary things that you've allowed yourself to think about what I'm saying. So, right now, what I'm telling you, where I'm going, I'm trying to tell you how not to be reactive. I'm going through all this so you can see. But there is a such thing as being proactive. And you got to understand the difference. Because you don't. Man, you fucking don't understand the reactive state. It's perpetual. That's where you guys are. You're in a perpetual state of reaction. I'm in a perpetual state of proaction. I'm proactive. I am not waiting for something to happen. I'm making everything that happens in my life, I'm making it happen because I'm proactive. That's why when things happen, even negative things, they don't stun me. They don't throw me off. I deal <laughs> like you should, but the reason you don't, the reason you, you, you can't is because you don't want to hear what's being said for what it's being said. You would rather uh, give it some other meaning so that you can bump your head up against a wall and then you can react. See, I'm going to do, I'm going to give it a meaning. I'm accepting it, and I'm going to miss the wall. I may not even get what I'm trying to get, but I know I wasn't trying to run into a goddamn wall. See, so what I'm saying is win, win. If I ain't trying to run into a wall, and I don't know what I'm trying to get by missing the wall, my objective is to miss the wall and see what I get. You would rather 
running to the wall, never knowing what you could get. I mean, I'd really prefer you to hear what I say than go and think about it on your own, you know, make a decision, decide whatever that is, and, and do it. That's what I'd rather, that's what I prefer. That's the major problem with you guys. Your integrity ain't shit. And you don't want to take a chance to think about nothing. You, you don't want to think about something on you with somebody or, or whatever, that kind of bullshit. See, you, you prefer to ask me uh, a question. You, you, you got this question you want to ask. You ask me this question and I give you an answer. Now, you're going to ask this question several more times, even though I answered it the first time. And you're going to ask it because you wanted me to answer it the first time, going along with whatever your weak thoughts were. So I don't. I answer it on the strength tip. So instead of you trying to get some strength from the answer, you're going to rephrase your question. And you're going to re-ask the same question because you changed the words. I'm supposed to be so stupid and think it's a whole nother question. No, I'm sharper than that. I already thought of that. That's why the answer I gave you is going to cover whatever the hell you're getting ready to say. But I'll wait anyway. Why? I'll wait. See, you guys would prefer to hear or ask me six versions of the same question, questions that only promote more ignorance on your behalf. And instead of hearing the answer and, and, and trying to deal with the truth, you'd rather try to twist the answer into something that you would rather hear or think and you, you miss the whole point. Why? Why do you do that? I'm sure you don't do that on purpose. You do that because you're reactive. You do that because everything somebody says makes you start thinking. You're so fucking stupid. I be thinking way before somebody say any goddamn thing to me keeps me proactive. You guys walk around in a trance and then when somebody says something, your mind sparks and then you start thinking. That's why you're so slow. That's why you can't catch. That's why you run into all the difficulties that you do because you're reactive. You can't help it. You're reactive because you don't believe anything. You reacted because if I said the sky was green and gave you a few points to prove that it was green, rather than you going outside and doing a little investigation to see if it's green, you would accept that it's green. And you would adjust to accept a green because you don't have enough confidence in yourself active. What I'm saying is, of course, you don't think about what color the sky is, so that's a little slight exaggeration. But what I'm saying is, you go for whatever some motherfucker tell you. And you can't tell me you don't. All of you going for what I'm telling you is just so happens that what I'm telling you is true. The bad thing about it is most of it the shit that you hear is not true. See, if I was in the game still, I would be grossly overweight, a big fat motherfucker. Because, see, I would have all y'all hoes. <laughs> and, and when you have a lot of hoes, if you got five hoes, you eat them in five dinners, five lunches, you know, you do that. You certainly eat more than one or two. So if I had, 
If I was looking right now, I could see myself being 60, 70 deep. 70 motherfucking bitches. I could see it. I'd have a rainbow coalition of motherfucking hoes wanting to pay me. But I'm not, you know, into that. See, I'm not trying to be pleased. Although the women fucking with me know they can't please me. They just continue to try. I understand they trying. I accept the efforts. But the results are going to be the same. There's more to do, baby. That's me. See, most of you guys have a girlfriend who happens to sit and wait for money while you sit and wait for her to wait on the money. <laughs> I'd be deep. Suckers provide food for a real pimp. Food for a real pimp is bitches. <laughs> <laughs> See, you, you, you guys, if I was in the game, you would provide me with all the hoes I needed. Might eat good. I wouldn't have to go work. They would see me. They would see how I roll. Then they would see my hoes. They would see my hoes roll just like me. And they would be curious. And I'd be riding. I ain't think about no bitch. But I got game, and I seen that bitch look at me as I rolled by. <laughs> so I'm going to say something. As soon as I do, she's going to be entranced because she already thinking about how well my bitches live. She already looking at my pimp ass look like I'm pimping like a motherfucker. And why is this going on? Because I'm a proactive motherfucker. I do everything to make my shit shine. I don't wait till my shit get dull and then start trying to make it shine. Man, them bitches of mine had new cars, apartments, furs, everything they fucking needed in their name. Why? Why would you put shit in a bitch's name, Rosebud? Well, you fucking idiot. Let me tell you this, I'm proactive, so I already did the math. Let's say the bitch got a brand new car from me in her name. Car note, three, four hundred insurance, one or two hundred, let's say it's five hundred together. Every motherfucking month, five hundred. And see, you guys be looking at that shit. Man, that's quite a hundred dollars I'm spending on that bitch. I'm not thinking one time, this bitch paid you 500 every day. Come on, man. You get 15 racks out this motherfucking bitch every month, and you worried about 500. See, that's how small you motherfuckers are. That's how little you are because you're not proactive. You react. So when I send my bitch out there with her brand new ass motherfucking car and her fucking name, and you're, you're going to react. What you're going to do? Talk bad about it. Oh, let me go buy the vote. Woo, woo, woo. <laughs> but your bitch know my bitch paying my black ass. Two and two is fuck. So your bitch gonna see that you full of shit. That motherfucker is rewarding them bitches. Now why would a motherfucker reward a bitch for doing what she supposed to do? You know why? Because I'm proactive. And I know all you motherfuckers don't do that shit. So before it come to my house, I'm gonna be doing it so when it come, I'm gonna tell that bitch, fuck you, bitch. And I'll point out all the things I've done. Because I don't, you know, do it and say you got looks, but then one of the times they drop the look. I'm going to say, you know what, bitch, let's go. And she's going to say, what? Let's go, bitch. I'm going to get this shit for you. 
and I go get the shit. Who am I then? What am I then to this bitch? Man, you guys don't think. You ain't proactive. You don't have no fucking game. All you do is have a mind that's empty. And every once in a while, thoughts come to you. And you think about them. You don't force thoughts into your head like I do. I'm not about to sit up and wait till I start thinking. <laughs> I'm thinking. I don't care what I'm thinking about. I could be thinking about a lampshade. I could be thinking about a light bulb. I don't give a fuck what I'm thinking about. But I'm going to be thinking. And I'm going to be making some decisions. And I'm going to be doing it all day long because I'm proactive. I don't care if you understand or not. The smallest thing is really the biggest thing. Because the big thing is going to happen. But the smaller things don't have to happen. So we can control those little things, but you don't. You let the little things control you, which ensure that the big thing is going to happen. See, I know if you control the little things, you may ward off the big thing because a big thing is only a lot of little things mounting up that you didn't take care of because you ain't proactive. You want to try to act like you know what I'm talking about, but you don't. You don't know what I'm talking about because you ain't got no fucking game and you can't see. The only thing you can do is react. And that's all you do is react. And you think you cool because you react. <laughs> you are cool. <laughs> but you still don't have no motherfucking game. See, <clears throat> you try to be my twin. My identical twin. You want to be my fucking twin. There's a few things identical in squares, excuse me, who are confident in, 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 in pimps who are confident, excuse me. I'm kicking game. You know I get the hiccups. Will not really be kicking. I got to drink some water. I'm sorry. I don't know why, but when I get the fucking kicking and bossing real shit, I just get the hiccups. See, two men, pimp and a square, they're both confident. <clears throat> but they have so many similarities. You want to know what that is? Some of them? Well, they both had extreme insecurities before they gain their confidence. Believe it or not, that's exactly what made them so goddamn confident in their lives. Knowing that they were insecure. Accepting that that insecurity made them think certain things. But where they differ from you is the certain things they think is a process of handling the insecurities. The things you think enhances the insecurities because you're reactive. The things I think are proactive, so the insecurity is here. So if I think about the insecurity, then I'm going to let the insecurity handle me. But if I think about me not letting shit handle me, then I would be thinking about what I should do. Fuck! Whoever that was, I hung up because this is more important. They calling in the SWU right now. That's my my school line. But fuck them. They'll call back if it's important. Because what I'm saying is, if you can learn to overcome your insecurities, whether you a square or a pimp, <clears throat> because I don't talk to just pimps. I talk to men, potential men. 
But if you can fucking overcome your insecurity, you, you know, not overcome it. If you can accept it, you're on your way. See, because once either one of those motherfuckers accepted their insecurities, the man that was hiding in both of them forced them to do something about it. The acceptance is proactive. Dealing with it is reactive. So what's, in that case, how do you determine? Well, bro, the way you determine is when you see something showing you that you have insecurities, right then you're supposed to deal with it. You're not supposed to go home and think about it and then decide to deal with it because that's reaction. Immediately when you see it, it's proactive, even if the event happened first. Why is it proactive? Because you can't determine what's going to happen in your life. You can determine what you promote to happen in your life, but things happen in your life that you have nothing to do with. But to remain proactive, you have to deal with whatever the fuck it is right then. There is no thinking about it. There is no getting advice. There's thinking about what you think in a nanosecond in doing it. You have to be this way if you want to be proactive. I have shit happened during a day that I had no idea was going to happen. Damn near every day, not every day, but you know, quite often. And not one time do I take a full second to decide what to do. Because there's no thinking about it for me because I've already thought about everything in my life. So when something in my life comes up, I'm just doing it, whatever it is that I decide to do. Now, both of them motherfuckers knew and accepted, you know, to be at the top of their respective fields. This square want to be an alpha man and then this pimp want to be alpha pimp to, to be but at the top of their respective fields, they had to be proactive and not reactive. The square's confidence comes from his small successes in his profession, as does the pimp. But both of them want more. See, that's why you don't supposed to separate this shit like you do. Men are men. Women are women. What they do does not distinguish or determine anything except for in your mind. I'm not saying it shouldn't determine something in your mind. But in reality, the senator, the minister, the hoe, the uh, girlfriend, they're all the same. They're women. And you have to understand that. The, the, uh, the athlete lady, the scholarly lady, they're all ladies. And once you understand that, you will stop doing what you just naturally do that promotes you being reactive. And that's thinking about shit. <laughs> Whatever you thinking, well, let me think about it. Uh, you want to be a reactive motherfucker. I would never tell you or anybody I'm talking to, let me think about it. If I got to do that, I'm telling myself silently, man, you better think about this. Then I'm going to say something else accordingly. But, but, but I'm not going to be able to put myself in a lesser position. Now, thinking the way I'm talking, thinking the way I'm explaining things can be a trap, especially for a square. Not a square, 
Well, you are a square. I'm talking just a regular alpha working man. Because to you, it's going to be a sign of weakness to let somebody lead you. See, to a real pimp, you know, or, or to a real... Then I, let me let me start this over because it's not to a square. To, to any man. To any man that's not a pimp, but you are, you know, alpha man. It'll be a sign of weakness to let somebody lead you. But to a, a pimp thinking man, uh, when he sees somebody breaking his neck to leave, you know, even though this pimp no man, you know, he, he's, a, he's a far greater leader. So, but the pimp will plot to make being under this motherfucker's leadership worth his while. What I'm saying is he ain't going to begin to doubt his own abilities because somebody besides him is leading. See, you guys place emphasis on the wrong things in life. You place emphasis on the things that's going to happen no matter what the fuck you do. Life is going to happen. Instead of putting the emphasis on what you do when life happens. If you put emphasis on life happening, you're going to do everything you can to try to prevent it from happening. <laughs> but you're not going to commit suicide. And that's the only way you can prevent life from happening. But if you was proactive, you would have been imagining your life happening. And all of the things you imagine are the same paranoid things the average motherfucker imagines. But a proactive motherfucker will design plans for whatever the fuck paranoid bullshit you thinking. Because, yes, I know it's paranoid. I can't stop thinking it. God damn it. The roller coaster scared the shit out of me. Ferris, we all that shit scared me. I can't stop thinking it. But I know what the fuck I'm going to do when I get you know, involved in something like that. See, this is because I'm proactive. Even something small like that, you have to have a way to handle it so you can be you. Why am I telling you all this goddamn shit? <laughs> I'm telling you this shit so you can keep or, or, or refrain from allowing shit to affect your confidence. I'm telling you all these things, little insignificant things about life that does happen that you know about. Yeah, but you don't know about it because you don't really think about it. Life is going to happen whether you want to control what happens to you or not. We know that. So what I'm saying is if you're always on your job, you will never allow anything to make you feel less than you think you are. I'm always on my AB, ABPs. I use my ABPs, always be playing. I, I ritually, <laughs> shit, I always be playing. And I knew, I knew I was a motherfucker. And I still was always playing. See, a Facebook friend asked me a long time ago, he asked me why was it so important for a pimp to stay dressed? Man, that alone, it is important, but that alone ain't got nothing to do with the pimp. See, alone, this question is easily answered. But if you dig deeper, you know, and think critically about the question. It's, it's kind of deep. Pimps are not ordinary thinking men. Would you agree with that? So, what's not ordinary about it? Pussy excites pimps, just as it excites men. But pimps handle that excitement. And normal men let that excitement handle them. That's one difference. See, a, a regular man, 
dressed nice, shaved, and see himself looking good. He, when he looks in the mirror, he sees a, a handsome guy. <laughs> he, 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 he sees a whatever, a handsome, successful guy. But when a pimp, a growing pimp, when, when he looks in the mirror, see, he, he sees a growing pimp looking back at him. And what it does for him is much more than being handsome or thinking he looks good. What he see is his persona. He can't see a persona. But what he see, this is why he looks so good to him. He's imagining walking to his car and catching an abroad. He's imagining walking down the street and people looking at him. He's just imagining this shit. Preparing him for whatever awaits him. Because his imagination is fertile on real life events that does not have to happen to him, but he's sure they will. So he's preparing himself. Hmm. If you consider yourself to be a true pimp or true man, you want to look the part as well as being perceived as the deal, the real deal when people see him speak to you. And the only way you can do that is to be proactive. You have to lay the groundwork for people to see what you want them to see, or they're going to see what they want to see. And what they want to see may not be what you want them to see. You got to be proactive. You got to use your fucking head. Now, this does not mean you need to be suited and booted every day, but it does mean you have to be to represent where you're coming from. And if you don't dress, you don't want people to see you and be in awe of what you represent, because I do. I want them to be in awe of what I represent. The biggest thing to a real pimp is recognition of his accomplishments. He wants the people that he deal with every day, pimps and hoes, to recognize his accomplishments are real. That's more important than anything. Now, once he perceives himself as a real pimp, he's not going to allow anybody to see him differently. Why can't regular men be like that? This is why I talk to men. Yes, I know hella shit about being a pimp, but I also know that I'm a motherfucking square ass motherfucker now, and all that pimp shit enhances everything. Especially when it comes to little Rob. So I ain't, I know, I ain't trying to do no pimping. But since I know what a pimp know, then I know how to get at a bitch. And I do that goddamn shit. I ain't got the pimp on it, but I can handle her just like I would be handling those. She gonna do what I say, how I want it done, when I want it done. I ain't questioning that. Because I ain't questioning, am I a pimp? I know I ain't. See, <laughs> I'm not scared of the truth. I accept it so that I could be proactive in my life. See, there's really a lot to being a real pimp. And a lot of you motherfuckers today, you, you just don't care to understand it. If I wore an outfit, and let's say someone else was there and whatever, coincidentally, they had the same thing on. Man, I'd immediately go home and change. Immediately. I would just go change. You guys all dress alike. You wear fake jewelry. Then you want to claim you're real. Start with the basics to get real. No matter how many hundreds of dollars or hundred dollar bills you post on Facebook, 
you still wearing a t-shirt and tennis shoes. Jesus Christ. So you look weak and very unpimpish. I know you motherfuckers have the right to hate on what you want to hate on. Me, clothes, whatever. You can hate on what the fuck you want to. But you young motherfucking pimps who post pictures of yourself on my page, you, you really need to see. You, you, you don't look pimps in your photo. So that mean in real life and ain't him. All you're doing is showing that you're a fool. Be proactive and do things that make people post shit about your opinion. Because they will. Oh, I was rolling down the street and seen so-and-so. You know, we'll get, put a picture up there if you gave them the, that to do. But you guys don't. So, I know you, you you can hate on what you want. We've already said that. But some fools be on my page and never feel any threat from me looking at their goddamn photos until I say something. I only comment to myself most times because I have negative shit to say, but... Sometimes I do say something. And I say this is not fly, blah, 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 whatever the fuck I say. I, 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 I don't say it because I don't claim to be fly. I claim to be fly. And you know I was a pimp. And you motherfuckers can't stand it sometimes. But what I'm trying to get you to see is so what? So fucking what? You're going to react to how you feel about me. <laughs> You're losing because you ain't got nothing to do with me. Proaction makes you think about yourself. Proaction makes you do things to put yourself in position. Proaction is what determines how happy you'll be when you be fucking 65. Proaction. Don't get mad at me. Stop getting mad at me. Learn from me. I'm an old brother. Hopefully you get to be old. Don't you get it? Unless you die, you're going to get old. Proaction requires you to prepare for that shit now. It ain't got nothing to do with saving money. Unless you got something to say, good, do it. I ain't talking about no fucking money. I'm talking about being and believing you. Being who you are. Who, whatever that is, I don't know you. You know you. Tell me you think I'm not being me. Shit. I'm only telling you to do not what I do, but what you see me doing, which is I'm 100. Period. I ain't faking. I don't want you faking. You are going to lose in the future with this fake bullshit. That's just all it is to it. I don't have to announce that I was a badass man, but I do. People seen it. People knew it, but I still do. Any weak motherfucker who look at me going to see and be threatened by my confidence. And whether they love it or hate it, my job is done. Because <laughs> all I want them to do is see me. Because I know I'm representing Pimpin. And if they see me and like it, they like this Pimpin. If they see me and hate it, they hate this Pimpin. What the fuck do I care? They see Pimpin in me. That's all I care when I was out there. So, I got a lot of shit to talk about. Now, I was always prepared to be a real man. 
And I claim that. None of you motherfuckers can mistake me for fucking rapper or anything except a successful businessman. Because I don't claim any fake fraudulent bullshit. I ain't successful, you know, necessarily in money, but successful at representing something I claim to love. And that's this game. That's being a man. I claim that shit. <laughs> I'm on my job. So, oh, hell, you guys. I just looked at this chat thing. You guys really chat. But I, I, I know most of you motherfuckers ain't doing nothing but speaking to each other, but I am going to look at this shit just to see. Okay. Uh, is being proactive on your AVPs. Okay, Raymond, Raymond. Yes, but <laughs> think about what your question was, man. I teach at SWU. When you have a question, ask it to yourself a few times before you ask me. Because think about it, man. Do you know what the ADPs is? ADPs is always be planned. Now, do you know what reactive is and proactive is? Yes, because we just talked about it. So if always be planned means always be thinking about what you're doing so that what you're doing can represent your future, that question is self-answered. Yes, it's the same thing. But my point, this is how you guys lie to yourself. All of you think you brave. All of you think you can stand on what you think. Look, Raymond, Raymond, I'm not saying you said this, but think about it. Why would you ask that when you already answered it in your question? Always be playing <laughs> means be proactive. Two and two is four. Stop me, it's so scary. You should have said, so I see what you're saying, but being proactive is just like being on your ABPs. That's still asking me the question. So I can say yes or no, but it's not in a question form. It's easy to do that if you think. <laughs> You know, uh, well, certain situations cause you to be deactive. I don't know what that means to cool. The best time of your life is it now or when you was pimping and why? <laughs> Raymond, Raymond, you, you're funny, man. But listen, the best times in my life is now. Because when I was pimping, I was, I mean, I was doing well. I'm doing hella, hella good. But I wasn't really bucking the odds, you know, as long as I did, you know, what I was supposed to do as a pimp. You know what I'm saying? I was going to be whatever I was, getting whatever I wanted. But now, everything I do has something to do with what I'm doing, what I'm going to do, and it's being fruitful. And you know what? Why it's really good now is because I'm rising to the top. And all I want to do is see the, you know, I want to see it. I don't want to necessarily, I do want to live it, but I don't necessarily want to live the rise. I just want to see that it's possible. I just want to see that if a motherfucker stay down, that's what's going to happen. That's why I do. Game rewards me. And my reward is being able to see this shit that I talk come to fruition. Yeah. Now, uh, niggas want to wait to problems or challenges happen. Well, why not cover all the bases ahead of time? True. Why not be the person who controls the temperature? Why not be the problem starter and the problem solver? Uh, that's Q Barner. Q Barner. All of what you're saying is true. They're really genuine questions. But the reason is, motherfuckers ain't real. I mean, to all your questions, why wait? Because you're a motherfucker that waits. You know why you let shit happen? Because you're a motherfucker that let shit happen. Hey, I don't let shit happen. My guys in school, when they get A's and shit like that, see this right here? I just got, oh, God, you can't probably can't even see it. Huh? 
Oh, wow. Let me see. Let me bring it closer. Oh, there you go. See, that's SWU. Wait a minute. That's a SWU sticker. Go get us. See, I give this to dudes that get A pluses. I give this to dudes that progress. Why? Small victories are the victories you build your foundation on. So to let them go unnoticed, you're trying to not have a secure foundation, whether you know it or not. So I want to get rewards or awards. And what I'm saying is you have to do this with yourself because I certainly do it with me. I don't want something more than a day before I go get it. Hey, God damn it, that fucking alarm was going off. Fuck it. Uh, I don't want something more than a day before I go get it. I just do. My problem, the worst thing to do is to see the problem and not address it. Yes, you're right. The game, you kick it so simple, a thinker, to a thinker, endure, yet so complex. <laughs> to not... <laughs> okay, cute man. You really saying something that's true. Uh, TDK, what's up? Hey, OZ, I listened to the show from last night. So I heard you he was talking about judgments. How I see it, I don't see how people's judgments factor into to what or how he views himself. <laughs> That's because you're scary, uh, TDK. Uh, of course, you ain't gonna see what people's judgments mean when you're scary because you want to be secure in your own judgment. You want to know that what you think is it, and no matter what anyone else thinks. That's not true. What other people think is damn near more you than what you think. And the only time you can judge other people's thoughts with yours is when they're coinciding with yours. Let's say I think I'm a monster and people think I'm a monster. Okay. Let's say I think I'm a monster and these other people think I ain't shit. <laughs> I don't really care what they think. But I care that they think it because I don't want motherfuckers thinking that I ain't shit. So I'm going to find out what they saying and how come they saying it without asking them. I'm going to just find out. And if it's about some hater shit, then I ain't going to care what they say don't mean shit to me. But what if they didn't, you know, tell me that they saw this or that. And when I find out they saw this or that, they had a point. You gonna say fuck them? Yeah, you would. <laughs> you would. Because you ain't got no confidence. See, if a motherfucker say something that's right, well, I like them or not, fuck them. I'm finna accept that right shit. And I'm correcting my shit. What a motherfucker think as far as judging me, I could give a fuck about being judged. But as far as judgments, I care what they are because I want all my judgments to be the same. They judge me as the shit. Yes. TDK is more important about how you respond to situations that happen in life than about what actually happens. <sighs> Man, look, why would that be true? Why would you try to separate that? It's more important about how you respond. You're, you're right. You're right as far as how you respond. But what's important is to not separate shit. It's all in the same, yes, you have this fucking uh, shit happen, and yes, you're supposed to respond to it properly. So ultimately... The way you respond would be the most weighty thing to take from this. But if you try to separate it, you're going to be wondering if this happened in that. No, you're right. I cannot say you're wrong. But what I don't like is people trying to separate lives to make them, I mean, shit that happened in their lives to make things easy for them. Deal with the difficulty. That's going to make you sharper. Sure, in your mind, you want to uh, break it down so that you can see it. 
but you don't want to make some sort of so it means this, it means that. No, you uh, slapping the shit out of a motherfucker right now would be the thing to do. But that same motherfucker doing the same thing in another place might not be the same thing to do. I mean, I mean, might not be the right thing to do. You got to think for the occasion, which means everything is what you make it. Nothing is more important than what you think. That's my answer to that. Would you agree that instant gratification is this desensitizing any of the population into abandoning long culture? Yeah, I believe that shit. Uh, to cool, yes, I believe that motherfucking instant gratification from this goddamn co computer is why you motherfuckers don't have no bitches. You sit up talking about uh, talking to some bitch on the goddamn computer. Then, yeah, then you're doing that so you can talk to her right now instead of taking your ass driving over there, having to go through the anguish of getting in there, then got to go knock on the door, then got to get with her, whatever. Yeah, all that shit. Is being taken away. And that's why you motherfuckers ain't got no game. Because you can't face shit. You need it, whatever. Instagram, that's a good question, uh, Tuku. Accepting the truth is ultimately accepting it. Yeah, that's true. Double L. Posting like hundreds, <laughs> fake hundreds of <laughs> They do be, man, I know that. Position is where a lot of people are fighting for. We don't see how to get it or maintain or, or enhance it. Hey, hey, the idea of position is what people are fighting for because people do not fight for position. They fight for the idea of being in position and they'll do that hard and fast, but they won't take one step towards actually being in position. See, this is critical thinking. That's good shit. This is the first time you fuck it. Oh, no, excuse me. This is the first time you guys ask, ask some questions that I can really answer. I don't mind doing this because you're really asking shit. All that bullshit that you guys normally put up is, man, uh, magnificent. Uh, okay, but, uh, whatever, whatever. that part, whatever. Okay, look, you guys, you guys got a lot of shit going on. And now you're speaking again. Well, I already you, but got a lot from, okay, Slim, okay. <laughs> what made you give them lames a game when in reality they like a character in a brain? Look, if it ain't in your heart, you on you on be on the wrong track. Hey man, you good rhyming ass motherfucker. You don't know what I'm doing because you certainly ain't talking to me. I ain't giving no motherfuckers no game as far as the game you talking about. I'm giving motherfuckers game on how to be a man. Now, what they do with it, if they want to go do some pivot, yeah, it got to be in them. But that little shit you talking about, can trail march, that's some bullshit. You know why I know it? Because you rhyme it. You know, you talking in a rhyme. I know you motherfucking tried to do it. So don't play. You know, put your motherfucking that Say something right now and tell me I'm lying. Motherfucker, I know. And I don't play. Don't fuck with me with some fake-ass conversation. I can't stand it. You a fake, and out of all the motherfuckers tonight, Cantrell Mark, you, I mean today, Cantrell March, you the fake, period. Now, I'm out. Hey, Cantrell, it ain't because of you. I'm actually done. Hey, proactive, not reactive.